A warm greeting to one and all. Dear friend, myself, Dr. Edmund Kishore, welcome you all in the today's session, how to use a black and white board and typing during the presentation. So this is one of the major questions that has been asked by the various faculty members and my colleagues. So in the today's session, we are going to discuss about all those things. So in the today's session, we are going to discuss the various shortcut keys that will be helpful during the presentation. Then how to highlight certain point during the presentation, how to turn your mouse into the laser pointer, how to hide the mouse pointer, then how to use a blackboard or whiteboard during the presentation and finally we will see how to type during the presentation. So these are the various shortcut keys that will help you during the presentation. So first one is function key F5 to start the presentation from the beginning slide, then shift plus F5 it means in combination to start the presentation from the current slide. Then in order to move to the next slide, you can use a press N or space bar or right arrow key or enter key or down arrow key or simply page down key. Similarly, in order to move to the previous slide or animation, simply press P or backspace or left arrow key or up arrow key or page up key. And in order to stop the presentation, simply press escape button. In order to change the mouse pointer from arrow to pen, simply press control P. Let's see. Control P, I am pressing Control P on my keyboard and observe mouse pointer has been changed. Okay, you can use it for drawing some or underline certain points. Okay, that for that purpose you can use then E to erase the mark made by the pen. So simply I am now pressing what E. Okay, then to change the mouse pointer to the default, see the mouse pointer now I am simply pressing Control A and observe my mouse pointer has been changed. Now, before uh, viewing about control H, first of all, we will discuss how to highlight, how to highlight the point. So simply right arrow key, then pointer, then here select highlighter, and now you can highlight any points. Okay. Now, in order to remove this mark, you can simply, simply press E. Then how to turn your mouse pointer into the laser pointer? Okay, simply laser pointer and now you can highlight any points. Okay, then how to hide the mouse pointer now last. Now we will discuss how to hide the mouse pointer. So for that purpose simply press Ctrl H. Observe that mouse pointer has been hidden. Now how to bring it back. Right click on mouse key then pointer option in the arrow option select what visible. Okay, this is how you can hide and unhide the mouse pointer. Now, how to use a blackboard and whiteboard during the presentation. So, for that purpose, we have a key is called as B or simply press dot in order to show a blackboard. Let's see, I am pressing B and observe your screen has been what? It has been converted into the black screen. So, this is basically useful in order to discuss certain points so that user will concentrate on you rather than on your presentation. Okay. You can also write certain thing over here. See, I am using a pen over here and now I can write certain things. For example, if someone has asked you, sir, kindly give the your mail ID. So, of course, my handwriting is not good. So kindly bear it. Okay, this is at the rate. So it means we are able to use our blackboard for writing certain things. Similarly, now in order to resume our presentation, simply press again B. Now, in order to display the whiteboard, simply press W. Okay, again, you can use a pen over here. And now I'm using here black color. And now I'm typing here, suppose say my mobile number. Okay, so this is how you can use what your whiteboard during your presentation. Of course, remember during the presentation, again press W in order to re resume your presentation. Okay, so it means you can use these two keys in order to display the blackboard or whiteboard. Basically, this is useful to discuss certain point during the presentation rather than so that audience will give what much more attention on you rather than on your presentation. 
the next one is how to type the steps in order to use the typing during the presentation suppose i am using this for writing some things for example say address of mine observe that there is a multiple lines i am using i have changed the font size okay like this way okay so we will see after a moment how i have performed this particular operation so basically there are three property that you need to remember enter key behavior true it means i am able to write on a new line then multi line is true and i have changed the font style and font size how to perform this operation we will see within a moment these are the some of the references thank you thank you very much now we will see within a moment how to use a typing so observe that here i have one more tab called as developer so how i how i got this particular tab so first of all click on the customizer ribbon remove this developer tab and observe what is happening okay now how to activate it again customize the ribbon i am selecting the developer tab okay i am adding one more slide over here new slide now in the developer we have a text box over here and similarly here label so i am changing the caption of label to note close it now simply double click and change the properties one by one enter key behavior it is false so make it true then font style you can change the font style or you can also increase the font size etc and finally multi line it is what make it true okay close it now in order to start the presentation from this particular slide what you need to do simply press shift f5 so i am doing it okay and now you can type anything over here okay i hope that you understood all the points so we have seen how to use the shortcut key during the presentation how to highlight certain points how to turn your mouse into the laser pointer how to hide the mouse pointer so that there will not be any disturbance of your mouse movement then how to use a blackboard and whiteboard during the presentation and finally we have seen how to use how to type during the presentation by means of what a developer tab so with that thank you thank you very much have a nice day practice it thank you